Hey, welcome to the channel, Cooking with Gadgets in the Kitchen. On this channel, we show you how technology can make your life easier in the kitchen. Last week, we did a video on the Bravo oven. This oven uses light technology and is guaranteed to cook your meals faster and closer to your proper doneness. Now, I've been everywhere looking at their recipes online, looking at the recipes on the Bravo oven, and also trying to watch videos on YouTube, and I cannot find any fried chicken recipes one of my most popular videos is from my other channel taking a bath them of how to fry chicken in the power air fried oven so i decided to use the same method the same recipe and i decided to do it in a bravo oven using the air fry option let's jump right into it and let's see how it came out don't forget to like share comment and subscribe at the end of the video all right so today I want to see if the Bravo oven can cook or let's say fry some chicken. Now, one of my most famous videos on my other channel, Taking the Bathroom, was my how to fry chicken wings. And yes, I say wings. I don't care how y'all say it in other places, but I say wings. How to fry wings in the power air fry oven. I haven't came across any video showing you how to fry chicken in the Bravo oven oven all right so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna try to mimic my recipe that i use for my um air fryer and i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna put the bravo oven on the air fryer mode now right here we have some louisiana chicken fried batter have some louisiana coconut oil um i have some chicken wings right here of course this is our batter and we have some tony saturans all right season up our chicken and after we season our chicken up, we're going to go ahead and batter it. And we're going to see how it's going to turn out, guys. So it's a si simple process, right? So first of all, you want to do, you want to season your chicken really well to your liking. You know, now for some reason, guys, whenever people, are, whenever people work with chicken or cook with chicken, there's so many myths and stuff out there as far as like, you know, wash your chicken or whatever. I wash my chicken. My mom don't. A lot of people don't. Uh, some people say you shouldn't watch it because you're just spreading potential germs or whatever. It's just a habit for me, you know. It's nothing special, nothing important. I can live with it or without it. But yeah, for some reason, man, the fool police on the internet always come, come at your throat whenever you're doing chicken. Louisiana, baby. Represent. Get in those little cracks and grooves, all right? So the next thing I want to do now, this batter's already seasoned, so I'm gonna come back to this container. Never can have too much spice, right? Just add just a couple of pinches to the. Come and put the chicken in here. Now, people that have watched my method for the power air fry oven, they, they get the Louisiana chicken batter and it's like, hey, this is supposed to be wet. This is supposed to be a wet batter. And I was like, hey, just follow the instructions, guys. Just follow the instructions. Yes, I know it's supposed to be a wet batter, but just follow the instructions and you'll be all right. So we want to coat this very well. You know, no need for an egg wash. All right? Get that nice and coated. Now, I have tried a wet batter in the power air fryer oven, and it didn't come out the same way that this came out. Very important that you follow the recipe to the best of your ability. And after you've done it a couple of times, then go ahead and tweak it and make it your own. But please, please, please get the fundamentals. Don't message me and be like, hey, it might have to come out like yours. Well, because you didn't follow the instructions like I told you to. Overall, a simple, simple method. Season, coat it, and then we're gonna use that Louisiana coconut oil to spread now you can use any oil i just like that the coconut oil i have used olive oil in the past i like what i like that's just what i say once you get the fundamentals down you can go ahead and you can tweak things okay so let's go ahead and clean off the excess batter off off of our glass and then we're gonna spread now because i was rushing um I did with throwing the chicken on there. What you can do, you can just go ahead and put down the paper towel to keep that, that excess batter from being on the glass. You don't want all that batter on the glass, guys. It's just gonna be a mess, right? So, we just looking for the chicken, that's it. 
right? And then we just slide that off of there and go ahead and place the chicken. Then want to spread lightly. Don't want to overdo it. And we don't want too much oil on the glass either. Now that we have it spread and coated, time to put it in the bravo. All right, so we got everything together. You can go ahead and put the chicken up in there. Okay, we want to go to the air fry mode. Hit air fry. We're going to turn this from 400 and we're going to drop it to, let's go to about 380. All right. And we're going to do, I got it at 14 minutes, guys. But let's go ahead and do 21 minutes. And glass at the top shelf. Recheck and review our settings, temperature, and time. And we'll go ahead and we're going to hit it. Okay, so the thing is right here is this is on the glass tray. With the power air fry oven, it's on a rack that have holes in it. In the power air fry oven, the air circulates and it cooks it from the top and the bottom. With the Bravo oven, the chicken is going to be cooked by the lights. And it's also going to be cooked from the bottom and the top. And this is why in air fry mode that I'm thinking they ask you to use the glass because the light can penetrate through the glass. The disadvantage is in the power air fry oven, the grease can drain through the racks, right? Cause the racks have holes in it. On the Bravo, the grease is just gonna sit on the glass. Now, one of the ways you can combat that is after halfway come in and turn it over or about a quarter of the way come in and turn it over. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna let this cook for about eight minutes. I'm gonna come in here after that and then I'm gonna turn it over. That way both sides have a nice crisp coat and one side is just not soggy with the crust falling off. Okay, so we at about 11 minutes, almost 12 minutes. Let's go ahead and check it out and see what we have. Then we can make some adjustments. So you can see the chicken is starting to get golden brown. Okay, look at that. Starting to get golden brown, so we can go ahead and just flip it over. Here, put that back in there. And then we're gonna go ahead and finish the cook. And once again, remember that the Bravo oven have a touch up feature. So if anything we need to tweak, we can tweak it guys. Just remember that you're playing with your temperature and you're playing with your timing. So as long as your chicken come out done, you can go ahead and you can work on getting your crust the correct way you want it so fingers crossed let's see if we can get this done all right and we're back and we're done so let's go ahead and have a quick look at it and see exactly what our next steps would be okay so that's looking okay all right but i wanted to crisp up a little bit more so i'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more time to it and let's see what we got to do we got to start over or whatever all right at a time I can add a minute right there but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add I'm gonna add five minutes to it let's, yeah let's do five minutes to it all right we're gonna do five minutes two seconds all right and we're done let's go ahead and see what we have folks done Voila. Ooh, that look good. Let's get a closer look. All right, so we have it up here on the little cooling pad. So the first thing I want to do, I want to go ahead, I just want to check the temp, right? Make sure that we have the correct temp. Put that in there. So you can tell that um, it's way past the temp that is needed for it to be cooked. And you have to remember with the Bravo, the light technology, it continues to cook, okay? So 
I'm happy with the temperature. Let me just get a fork over here. So let's go ahead and check out the bottom. All right, so you can see the grease that I was talking about. It's not a lot of grease in the pan, guys, you can see. But you do want to wash that. That's why you don't want to put too much spray on there. Okay, so you hear that? Let's see if we can hear the crust. Get it closer to the mic. So that is a nice crust on there. And to prove it to you, go ahead and peel it. Now, you can make this crust as thick as you want. And if you want your crust harder, you know, I, I see people that want it like a little browner than that right there. You could, you can go ahead and you can make that browner. You can go ahead and you can make that harder. And let's see how juicy the chicken is in the inside. And you can see that the chicken is completely done in the inside. So there you have it. Fried chicken wings in the Bravo air fry oven in under 30 minutes. You can't beat that. One of the problems again is the grease sitting on the glass pan. But as you see, you can work around that. Now, the thing I love about the Bravo oven is how fast it cooks. As I said in the video, that's if I didn't edit it out, <laughs> is when I do it in the power air fry oven, it takes me about 50 minutes, 45 minutes, depending on how thick the chicken is. In a Bravo oven, I can get this done in less than 30 minutes. That's what I love about it. Also, with the air fry option, guys, don't be afraid to play around with it. You can raise your temperature, lower your temperature. You can play around with the amount of batter you want to put it on there. If you want to put like a little olive oil on your chicken before you put your coating on there, go ahead and try it. Mess around with your settings. Mess around with the timing that you flip it over. I guarantee you won't be disappointed. This will not be my last time doing air fried chicken in the Bravo oven. Once again, thank you for coming to the channel. Cooking with Gadgets in the Kitchen on this channel. We show you how technology can make your life easier in the kitchen. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, peace.